and chat. How's it going, guys? Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. One sec. Welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 2. Right, X is canceling this. Right, we were about to run, we were about to take some pictures. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the... Uh, let's remind ourselves of what exactly we're supposed to do. Snake. You can't walk on that floor without causing a racket. You'll be in trouble oh. if someone hears you. To move more quietly, try crawling. Or walk slower by pushing the left analog stick a little bit at a time. All right, well, I wanted a reminder of what I'm supposed to... The globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet. So do a number of ropes. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear Force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. Uh... With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it I'm will trying be the to Green get on War this ladder. That will accomplish this. This weapon will oh, render trying. all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. My photos are gone! Ours is not the only military... Oh no! To what happened? But it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy. There's a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. Well, that sucks. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you that they will not succeed. Can I? Some say uh, what? This is a long game over screen. Yep. Snake, respond. Snake, snake. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe knows the specifications for Metal Gear. Worse yet. So do a number of rogue states. They are all working on deploying their own Metal Gear Force to compete with the U.S.'s nuclear strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. Okay. With Ray, how do I interact with the projector? Thousands of metal gears that and where do I go? The, world are no longer a threat. the blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Can't be going this way, right? That will accomplish this. This weapon will Yep, they saw me. 
Oh, I could crawl under the beam. You're right. Snake, respond. Snake, snake. At the moment, every industrialized nation on the globe. Before you do, use the projector repeatedly. Uh, I tried. It wouldn't give me an interact button. Uh, I tried using the interact button and it wouldn't do anything. They're all working on deploying their own Metal Gear Force to compete with the US I'll try again. strike capability. The world is about to see a swarm of these Metal Gear derivatives. We initiated development of Metal Gear Ray as a countermeasure to these pirated weapons forces. The only thing that can stand up to a Metal Gear is, of course, another Metal Gear. With Ray, the hundreds, if not thousands, of Metal Gears that exist all over the world are no longer a threat. The blind rush to nuclear proliferation will be contained, and it will be the Marine Corps and our Ray that will accomplish... Oh, do I go up the ladder or up that, or up this way on the floor? This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Go up the ladder. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their nuclear strategy in the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The shift in the balance of power will mean in Oh, that's surprising we appear to get bullets. We, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Ours is not the only military project devoted to Metal Gear development, but it cannot be more different in nature from the Navy's. Theirs is a program that will add fuel to the uncontrolled fire of nuclear proliferation. It is a fact that players in favor of such a policy are attempting to derail our own raid project. But I promise you, they will not succeed. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air backgrounds. Not to mention interference from a major player. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. I have a daughter. It is my greatest wish never to have her or her children. Experience They're gonna notice me in a minute, aren't they? As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generations. In the light of the military dominance spelled out by Ray. The ship of the balance of power will mean a new world order. And we, the Marine Corps, will play a central role in its military affairs. Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced to the completion of Ray. Where did I get this footage? It is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass, especially those with submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear uh, that in I mind. can't disengage. Oh! <laughs> not the only military <laughs> Turn it back and forth. But it cannot be <laughs> <laughs> they were so mad. <laughs> Some say that the strategic importance of aircraft carriers will be reduced by the completion of raid. The opposition from the Navy is an undeniable fact. There is a lot of pressure from Navy brass. That was awesome. Submarine and air background. Not to mention interference from a major plane. But this project is vital to the Marine Corps. The enemy is sometimes closer to home than you think, gentlemen. Always bear that in mind. 
I have a daughter, and it is my greatest wish never to have her or her children experience the horror of nuclear war. As a father, I want to leave a better world for the future generation. As a soldier, I know that is my duty. This turned out to be longer than expected. At ease. Just a little. That was incredible. You're all familiar with the Shadow Moses incident during the Sears administration. The current state of nuclear proliferation is a direct result of that event. There's Metal Gear. All right, real quick, uh, remind me, I'm supposed to take pictures from the sides and the front. And what else? Metal Gear. Metal Gear Ray is amphibious. Get the Marines branding. It can cruise deep underwater. Move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Good. Its onboard joint tactical information distribution system identifies targets with unerring accuracy and takes them out with massive fire. firepower. It is the ultimate weapon. That's where I upload the uh, pictures, I think. I'd like you all to think about what that means. This weapon will render all other Metal Gears obsolete. Nations building up their own Metal Gear force will think twice about their new. Whoops. Oh, that's... All right. Take a full camera memory worth of the Commandant and nothing else. Just photo after photo of him. Snake, respond. Snake? Snake! Metal Gear Ray is amphibious, unlike the Army's Rex. It can cruise deep underwater, move in undetected and make its landing on any shoreline. Information distribution system. Identifies hmm. unerring accuracy and takes them out. Do I have to fire. deliver the photos to it get whatever you're talking weapon. about? And it is yours to guard. Send them at the terminal. All right. All think about I'm failing to log in over and over. Okay. So, any codec moments from you, Snake? Okay, first up. Hey, this is the Marine Commandant. Are you a fan I like or the something? little sprite of Otacon. And the next one is... Okay, that's oh, good. Oh, damn it. The shot from the right is in the bag. I thought I overwrote it. What's next? The Commandant again. Look, if you like him so much, I'll print this out and make a panel out of it. Put it over your bed or something. 
What's next? Will you please stop sending me pictures of the Commandant? Okay, what am I seeing now? Will you please stop sending me pictures of the Commandant? The last one is... What is this? Snake, this isn't a game we're playing here. Okay, we're done with the image from the right. Three left to go. One each from the front left and front, and a close-up of the Marines lettering. Good luck. You must be tense. Let's do a little stretching, shall Four we? minutes to get this done. Left. Down. Right. Left. Front. To move on. The National Missile Defense Program was initiated in the end of the 20th century. Projected to completion in 2005. However, the NMD trial conducted in the year 2000. Last is to get the poster, uh, the photo of the posters rubbing each other's bellies. Get us excited for the lady pinups. It assumes you're coming out to it to have the man's chest poster. <laughs> Failure. And the success of the 1999 trials is now considered a chance happening. There was no technological solution in sight, and the program was already attracting strong criticism from Russia and China for its potential violation of the anti-ballistic missile uh, agreement. Ah, shit. The fact that any development in missile defense would trigger accelerated weapons development has been pointed out from the very beginning. Do I go behind? No. President Sears forced the NMD proposal through and succeeded in deploying the program. Some say that it was a military interest, with plans for the hundred billion dollar program budget that actually arranged. Oh, this way, okay. It's here, just looking first person. It's on the leg. Thought you said I had to go to a different room. That's why I was trying to find something. While nurturing the NMD concept. It was he who lowered Stark 3 ceiling for tactical nuclear weapons in order to bring Russia around to approving a revision to the ABM treaty. Everyone believed the world was headed for the end of the arms race when Shadow Moses happened. Is Even that it? Development of Metal Gear. So the other leg, all right. The Rex is still outside the bounds of official truth. Everyone in the international military community knows the facts. Its specs spread across the globe like wildfire. The nuclear race is on again. The only thing that can reverse its course is this Metal Gear raid. The Metal Gear Rex development on Shadow Moses was supposedly the first preparatory measure taken against the future possibility of reduced nuclear defense capability. Oh, there's a dude right there. NMD technology leaked to other nations would make that contingency likely. But if this theory is... Wait, did I just hear him snore? Correct. Oh, he's he asleep. A ...calculated intent to cash in on this opportunity by specific... ...interests within the military-industrial complex. We are here today to flush out and rid our country of these corrupting forces. That oh, I can track him? That is our mission. You will bear that in mind. Freeze. <gasps> we have intelligence that there are anti-Metal Gear terrorists planning to target the ship. to the left. 
Intruder to the right. Intruder to the left. What is going on? Intruder to the right. I'm not seeing it, guys. Should that actually happen, I expect you to be prepared. We cannot and will not give up Ray. Stay on your ah, there it is. Times. Good. To move on. George Sears surrendered his presidency in the aftermath of Shadow Moses. Oh, I have 50 seconds. Sensibly programmed image telegraph engine. Sounds like somebody really wanted it to spell out Sprite. Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. The first one I'm seeing is... Okay, this works. It's a great front view. Next up is... Sorry, but this doesn't work. I hate to ask, but can you try again? The next image is... What? Sorry, but this doesn't work. I hate to ask, but can you try again? What's next? Sorry, but this doesn't work. Yeah, I didn't I know if you'd ask, get anything for taking a picture of the snoozing guy. Okay, last one's coming up. This is great. The Marines lettering shows up really well. All right, well, I'm about to lose, so I'll have to reset. We're okay on the photos from the right, front, and the one of the lettering. The only one we want is of Metal Gear from the front left. I know you can do it. The Commandant is almost done with his speech. We're just about out of time. Hurry! All right, let's see if we can make it. The official reason given did not, of course, include the development of Metal Gear Rex and next generation nuclear warheads. But even you will have heard rumors that he was forced to resign after the failed cover up cost him his influence in the political. Good. That's the only one I have time to take. Designed to be operated by an onboard pilot. In its final form, Ray will be unmanned. Driven by tele-existence and an autonomy. You run as long as you don't step on noisy surfaces. Am I going to have time to get the hell out of here, though? Looks like I have your photos now. Let's take a look. The first image is... You're a pretty good photographer. We can definitely use this left shot. Okay, now we have all the photos. Snake, the speech is about to wind up. Forget the photos and get out of there now. Oh, I'm fucked. Oh, okay, I don't have to do anything special. We'll lead the charge into a new world order with Metal Gear Rain. That is all. Dismissed. Oh, do I have to escape? Your hand is supposed to be straight out when you salute. Not curved. Who's clapping? Excellent speech, oh, my spurs. friend. Who the gift of the silver tongue? I also lot. They say it's the mark of a good officer and of a liar. Americans are too in love with the sound of their own voice to speak the truth. Identify yourself. I am Shalashaska, also called. Revolver Ocelot. Actual footage from the original game. 
not touched up or uh, replaced with current gen graphics. What do you want? This machine will be quite useful. What are you planning to do? Steal this thing? Steal? No, no. I'm taking it back. Hello. What about all the other dudes in the room? Gerlukovich. Nobody move. Understood. This ship now carries enough Simtex on its key structural points to blow it out of the water at the touch of this button. That's right. No one has to die needlessly. <laughs> Catch you just lie on his side. <laughs> at the target. Get a move on. Oh, I didn't fix my uh, voice delay. I'll fix that in a minute. Once I have control again. What do you intend to do with Ray? Sell it on the streets? I was raised in Znezinsk, formerly known as Chelyabinsk 70, the nuclear research outpost. What are you talking about? After the Cold War ended, my home was bought out by the Americans. Is there a point to this sad story? Now you would understand. Land, friends, dignity, all sold to the highest bidder, the United States of America. Even the technology that gave birth to these weapons is Russian, developed by us. What do you intend to do? Russia will rise again, and Ray is the key. I regret to inform you that I have no intention of selling Metal Gear. As I said, I came to take it back. Oh. What you gonna do, Ocelot? Yes, returned to the Patriots. <laughs> How's that possible? What? Ocelot, you! Have you sold us out? <laughs> I was never in your employ, Gulukovich. Are you still in league with Solidus? No hard feelings, Colonel. Mother Russia can rot for all I care. Since when, Ocelot? When did you turn? I'm glad you noticed, comrade. I abandoned her during the Cold War. Ah! Metal Gear only has room for one! Gerlukovich, you and your daughter will die here. Damn you! This is so extra. <laughs> All of them. Sergey, looks like you were long overdue for retirement. I trust.
All right, how many revolvers has he got on him? Show's over. If you wish to live, I suggest you run now. This ship is still in the lower New York Harbor. You may yet make it to shore if you swim for your life. Oh, shit. Okay, how did they plant all this Sempex in these particular spots without getting noticed? What's going on with your fake arm, Ocelot? Ah? Uh? It's been a while. Excuse brother. me? Who are you? You know who I am. What? Liquid? Not so young anymore, eh, Snake? Excuse me? You're drowning in time. I know what it's like, brother. No wonder Naomi passed. Welcome you to the, the madhouse. Yeah. Ah! Ouch! Get out, out of my, my mind, mind, liquid! Passed you over for the Fox Die program. Does that implant liquid's genes into people? The price of physical prodigy. Few more years and you'll be another dead clone of the old man. Our raw materials are vintage, brother. Big Boss was in his late fifties when they created his copies. But I, I live on through this arm. Did you steal oh Liquid's God. arm? <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> What is happening? Oh, do I have to fight Metal Gear? Oh, no. You're going down, Snake, with this tanker! All right, guys, come on, you can't pierce that thing's hide. Excellent. 
it roars just like the last one. God, the lighting of this sucks. The lighting of this scene is awful. So Ray was an MPS integral of the Aeration Special Mission. We got 100% and we're given a completely context to see what Ray's group Huh. Snake! Cool. Snake! It can fly? It's got a tail? Why does it have a tail? I do have to fight this thing, don't I? No problems. Proceeding as planned, sir. There was a problem. Liquid took over your mind. we discussed. Yes, I have photographic evidence of Snake on the scene. The cipher was most useful. I look forward to tomorrow morning's news flash. I would say the Marine Corps' plans are on tail so we can whack it when it's happy. <laughs> yes, of course, Mr. President. Alright, one sec. Oh, I have a safe prompt. One, two, zero. Close. Mic delay. Okay. Back to chat. Alright. Yes, I will save. Thank you very much. Scientists had to make thousands of calculations to create the atomic bomb and determine its effects. Computers and atomic bombs, both products of World War II, grew up together. Is it going to be a, a quote about atomic bombs every time we have a chapter break? Snake, do you remember the sinking of that tanker two years ago? Of course. Terrorists blow a hole in an oil tanker full of crude barely 20 miles off the shore of Manhattan. Your classic nightmare. It didn't take long for the government to put an oil fence around the whole mess. And then that massive offshore cleanup facility went up inside. The big shell. I hear the cleanup is Did this guy just yet. get addressed as snake? Time. But in the meantime, the shell's become a landmark, a symbol of environmental protection. Oh, is this where Raiden comes in? Calling teams Alpha and Bravo. Deploy at the big shell as scheduled. 
Approximately six hours ago, the big shell was seized by an armed group. Do we have an ID? Former members of the Navy SEAL Special Anti-Terrorist Training Squad Dead Cell. Russian private army members may also be involved. It's a highly trained group, and they have the big shell under complete control. That was a lot of money in 2005. What makes them think they can get that much? There was a government-sponsored tour going on at the Big Shell that day. Hostages, huh? A VIP from one of the major conservation groups, and one from our own government. The most important person, in a sense. The most you important could just say person, the president. James Johnson. The president? Unless the demands are met, the terrorists intend to blow the Big Shell out of the water. And the crude will ignite, turning the Manhattan Harbor into an inferno. That's not the worst case scenario. If the chlorides being used to decontaminate the seawater go up with the oil, toxins containing catastrophic levels of dioxins will be released. In other words, the Bay's ecosystem will be wiped out, and the sea will turn into a toxic soup for centuries, becoming the worst environmental disaster in history. You have two mission objectives. One, infiltrate the offshore decontamination facility Big Shell and safeguard the president and other hostages. And two, disarm the terrorists by any means necessary. You should know that SEAL Team 10 is also conducting a rescue operation. And we're not working together, why? Is this a joint effort? No. Foxhound remains a covert body. Don't alert them to your presence. That is an order. This is Snake. I'm now inside strut A of shell one. How are things? We're in luck. Looks like there are no sentries posted here. What's the visibility? The lights on the plant struts are functioning. I won't have to use the IR goggles. Any problems? There was a brand new hole cut through the oil fence. There's someone else besides me that wanted to get in badly. That's not possible. What about SEAL Team 10? They landed on the roof of the big shell as planned. And by the way, Snake, we're changing your code name for all following communication. What's wrong with Snake? Just a precaution. You are now designated. All right, Ryden. it is Raiden. All right, Raiden. You've already covered infiltration in VR training. I've completed 300 missions in VR. I feel like some kind of legendary mercenary. Okay, we'll skip that part. Make sure nobody sees you. If you need to, contact me by codec. The frequency is 140.85. When you want I already to know how to use the codec. That was tutorialized earlier. When we need to reach you, contact you, the codec will beep. When you hear that noise, press the select button. The codec's receiver directly stimulates the small bones of your ear. Repeating that no tutorial you will be able from to the last it. game, word right. for word. I'll contact you if anything changes. First, make your way to the upper section of the big shell. How do I get up to the next level? There's an elevator at the far end of that area. Use that. Sounds good. VR special missions is implied to be what Raiden you went through canonically. It uses electrofiber technology, a byproduct of fiber optics research. 
The texture isn't far removed from rubber, but the material protects against a wide range of toxic substances. The suit itself has a wide array of built-in sensors. It is referred to as smart skin in military R&D. Data about damage to different regions of the body, including blood loss, is exchanged between the suit and the intravenous nanomachines to create a feedback system. There's a lot of pressure on my torso. Relax. The suit applies varying pressure to major internal organs to maximize performance and safeguard their functions. Skull suit. They call this the skull suit in Foxhound. Skull suit seems appropriate somehow. The hatch with a circular handle will open into the elevator area. Locate the hatch. Copy that. Moving on to main mission objectives. All right, I fixed the auto. I accidentally delayed the rocks here instead of my mic. All right, what have I got? I have no weapons. I came with nothing. I've got uh, binoculars, uh, AP sensor, and that's it. Okay. Do I not have a radar in this? Right, that door is watertight. Yeah, I know how to open it. We covered it in VR training. True. Proceed with caution. I just heard somebody getting their ass beat. an enemy sentry. AN-94 and a Makarov. Those grenades, all his equipment, is Russian-made. Must be a Gerlukovich man. Gerlukovich? A Russian private army that was in line to work with the Shadow Moses takeover group four years ago. What's their stake in this one? They must have made a deal. So this is set in 2009. Terrorists. They become a band of mercenaries, an army without a country. Right stick looks around. Cool. Okay, so it wasn't literally Raiden in a snake costume that got people mad when this game came out. It was that we, you played as Snake for the tutorial segment and then played as Raiden for the rest of the game. Colonel, there's definitely another intruder in here besides me. That's not a possibility. Not a team. Looks like a solo job. One man. We may not know who he is, but he managed to take care this of is every Quentin sentry Flynn, right? in the area. They're all out cold. Whoever he is, he's got some skills. We need to get an ID. But for now, you can take advantage of the situation and get to work. There's a terminal in front of the elevator. A node. Did you say nerd? Not nerd. Node. Oh. Use the node to gain access to the Big Shell's facilities network. Then what? Pull up the map of the structure. That'll let you activate the Soliton radar. The Soliton radar? True. That radar came in useful during VR training. A radar system uses biological magnetic fields as input. For actual radar. These Rito. estimated yeah. enemy positions are projected onto a map according to reference points collected via GPS signals and field personnel reports. We he was a to great to reader. Through the Big Shell's node to put this data processing to practical use. The node unit is about three feet high. Should be colored blue. Each area has at least one. Wait, does Quinton Flint How play Leah in Kingdom Hearts 3? Just push the action button in front of the node. 
The nano machines in your body will take care of the security clearance and allow you access to the node. Complete the procedure before those sentries gain consciousness. If they spot you, you won't be able to gain access for a while. Nice. Stay on guard. Got it. It said Lee, gotcha. Unpleasant. I enter my name. All right, well, let's enter lore. Yeah, um, I don't know if there's a way to up the brightness. Uh, is there a way to access the options? If you get to put a developer's name in, it automatically fills their details in. Huh. Oh, this is probably going to come in... Uh, come into play for something actual later in the story where I have to input this or remember it. I don't know what my blood type is. Uh, let's say it's O. Try entering Hideo Kojima's name and th that happened. to enter his whole name. Wow, Kojima's about to be 60? <laughs> Lord Weaver's Fox own codename would be Streaming Frog. <laughs> I think technically it would have to be blogging frog, actually. Oh, lots of symbols. All right. He's, a, he's born a couple weeks after a, uh, my birthday. There's a lot of home country options. Huh. Interesting. All right, well, mark my blood type as O just so it's memorable. Oh. It's the options menu. All right. Radar type one appears even during intrusion view. Okay. 
blood on, sound stereo, Dolby digital off, caption on, own view normal or reverse? Oh, it's uh, inverted controls. Find the window group, quick change on equip, okay. No option for the uh, brightness, unfortunately. Unfortunately, this is probably the best it's going to get. I want a very scuffed setup. I've got an HDMI. I've got a um, component to HDMI converter uh, that I bought for like 25 bucks because that was all I could afford. Um, so it may be darkening it or it may just be what the game looks like normally. Good work, Raiden. The radar should be functioning now. Remember your VR training sessions. The tool is exactly the same one. It maps the terrain as well as the position of enemy personnel. The bright dot in the middle is you, Raiden. The red dots are your enemies, and the blue cone shape represents their field of vision. Your radar isn't affected by the weather, but if you're discovered by an enemy, you won't be able to use it. It gets jammed easily, I'm afraid. It's all made from currently existing technology. Uh, uh, what would it would be, be made from non-existent technology? Resonance, so Roy, be careful. what do you mean currently existing technology? Available after touching the start button. How do I save the mission data? I've set aside a proprietary frequency for saves and an analyst to work on the data. Melee. Too. Jack, is everything all right? What are you doing here? Jack, can you hear me? Rose, you're not you're supposed not to be melee. involved. What's going on? Jack, I'm a part of this mission. Colonel, what the hell is going on? Raiden, meet the mission analyst. She'll be overseeing the data saving and support. Sounds like he's already met her. her. The foxhound analyst that was supposed to take part in this mission was in an accident. Rosemary was brought in as a replacement. An accident? And according to the files, she knows you better than anybody else. Rose may be in the service, but an intelligence analyst is no field officer. Not to worry. She has our technical staff at her disposal. She's never been a part of a field mission. This is insane. Is that his sister? I have my own reasons for selecting her for this mission, soldier. Colonel, I fail to see. I know your VR training performance in and out, but sometimes that's not enough. You're familiar You're not mailing is literally Moses everyone's incident. opinion. <laughs> you know I covered it in VR. If there's a crucial tactical detail that case taught us, it was the power of the operative's will to survive. I was trained to fight. My personal feelings have no place in a mission. We've learned that it doesn't work that way. And on the field, you need all the help you can get. Jack, you're stuck with me whether you like it or not. Rose. You need someone to watch your back. But I have conditions that need to be met, Colonel. What is it? I'll perform my duties and save that mission data. But I'm aware that technically I'm not part of the mission control team. After all, I'm just a normal girl who's worried about Jack. But that means, Colonel, that I am not required to follow your orders outside of my immediate Oh, duties. that is not how this works, Jack is Rosemary. Jack a field personnel for me to track. His safety comes first to me, not the mission. And because that of is that, not how that works, I will Rosemary. be monitoring and keeping a record of every communication you have with him, Colonel. Given the circumstances, you're free to do what you see fit. Hey, I prefer this to being kept in the dark waiting. I'd like to make a request, if I may. Of course. His handle is Raiden. For the duration of the mission, could you call him that? Yes, sir. All right, Raiden. Let me know when you're ready to turn in a save. The proprietary save frequency is 140.96. I just switched frequencies. Jack? What? Do you know what day it is tomorrow? April 30th. Is there something Hey, that's my stepdad's birthday. Isn't there? I can't remember. I'm sorry. Oh, well. I'll keep trying till I hear the answer. I'm gonna let you go now, Jack. Take care. Whoops, I didn't mean to hit the... God damn it. Raiden. The enemy sentry is regaining consciousness. Be careful, Jack. Find somewhere to hide until the elevator he arrives. He just told you to call you him Raiden. must stay out of sight. Oh, God damn it! Enemy 
site. Requesting backup unit. Oh, they found me. Oh, now my radar goes away. All right, just just end me. Right, what's wrong? Right, right. Oh, the little stars above his head. Determine when they get back up. I'm under enemy fire. Secure the perimeter. Stay Alright, I may have to actively avoid them. But let's hide here and see what happens. Alright, elevator's here. their pattern. Okay, that guy's gone. Cool. The terrorists call themselves Sons of Liberty. Sons of Liberty? The name of their leader is Solid Snake. Yeah, I don't the believe hero that. Of Shadow Moses? So that's why you changed my code name. Right, but he can't be the Solid Snake. He died two years ago on that tanker after he blew it sky high. Could he have survived? Not a chance. Colonel, I'm on the roof. There are no sentries, but it would only take one to spot me in this light. You never had daylight VR training after 300 all. missions Stay and you never covered you that? Find a node to log in from. What about the commandos? SEAL Team 10 has landed on struts B and C. And the president? Seems he was spotted on strut B. Strut B? The big shell is comprised of shells one and two. Each unit consists of a central core and six struts surrounding it. So the whole thing is shaped like two hexagons connected end on end. Exactly. And you're on the roof of strut A, shell one at the moment. The air mission gameplay was in a digital void. Ah. First, get to a node. Log into the network. Got it. It is a little annoying that you have to find a map. Uh, how do I get up on this thing? Oh! That's a fancy dodge. How do I get up on this thing to grab that? That's first person. Oh, I was trying to use triangle, but it wasn't working. Bandages? Press the circle button to use while having it selected in the window. Okay, so I gotta use that to stop bleeding. I just fell on the bird shit. Alright, noted that that's a mechanic. Get M9 first. Right, is there a door somewhere? Oh, 
I wonder. Okay. Wouldn't let me dodge from one platform to the next. The vent you have to crawl through on the other side of the elevator. Is that a door? God damn it. Getting a call. Perpendicular to that door you pressed against. Hold the grill. next to the door. Uh, I'm not seeing a hole. Right and look at that wire fence. You may be able to crawl through it. Crouch down using the crawl I see button, it now. then push the left analog stick in the direction you want to move. Push the crawl button again to stand up. You can use weapons even while crawling. This is different from VR training, so you keep that in mind. Raiden, SEAL Team 10 is in. Do we really have no line of communication with the SEALs? They don't know a thing about us. You know we work in the dark, and this mission is no exception. Only a few people know about your presence here. <clears throat> There's no need for concern. This operation is under Pentagon's direct command, and the NSDD came from the Vice President and the Secretary of Defense. Your mission may be top secret, but it's gone through the usual channels. So why... Why is this top secret? Why am I in addition to the regular soldiers who are presumably on the same mission? Whoops, didn't mean to go back out there. I'll go check the roof. I'll leave the first floor to you, okay? Understood. Ninja flips and shit. Alright, so there's the map. And that's gonna make a noise when I get zapped. Colonel, I've located the node, but it's under heavy surveillance. I can't get in any closer. Distract them. Try making some noise to draw their attention away. How? Flatten yourself against a wall and hit the punch button. Got it. Wired. Oh shit! It's the end Got one, I see. Don't leave him lying around. Hide the body as soon as possible. 
When his comrades come back from the roof, you don't want him being found. If they do find him, they'll be on the alert and things can get difficult. How do I do that? When you take a hostel down, hide the body where a patrol is unlikely to come around. You can drag an enemy personnel's body. This is how to do it. First, walk up to the body, and with all weapons deselected, press the weapon button to pick it up. As long as you have the weapon button held down, you can move around with the body in your grasp. Release the weapon button to let go of the body. Communications with the first floor, Strade, have ceased. Carry out an investigation immediately. Oh shit, that's where they're coming from. Whoops! Encounter the enemy. Alright, let's... Kill me, let's try that again. They actually have to reload in this game. Interesting. Jack, what's going on? Answer me! Jack? Jack! Got away from him this time. Oh, hey, that's what the uh, save file icon is when you go into the browse in the PlayStation 2 Raiden, hardware. Watch your back. That's a cipher, a type of UAV. If it spots you, it will alert enemy personnel. Exercise extreme caution. But you can use chaff to set up an interference field. That'll knock its sensors offline for a while. Try to locate some chaff. You can also destroy the engine or the camera. Some of the UAVs may be armed. Be careful. Copy that. Wait a second. I just intercepted new intelligence on the operation being executed by SEAL Team 10. Spill it. Intercepted? As I said before. They need to be kept in the dark about our presence. So we just listen in. I'm patching it through. This is Alpha Zero. We have the president. Is he safe? He is safe. What about the package? Tell the guys upstairs that we've secured the package. Easy money. Good work. Your retrieval is on the way. Come on home. Roger that. What do I need to do then? Alpha Zero, report. Damn it, cover the president! Come in, Alpha Zero. This is Alpha Zero. We're under attack. Okay. This is crazy. Alpha Zero, respond. All Alpha, respond. Raiden, the president's life is in danger. Head to Strut B now. All right, well, let's find some chaff then. It's not right here. Here, okay. Alright, these guys I can deal with. Raiden, watch out. There are sentries posted on the connecting bridge. They will spot you if you continue on course. Any recommendations? Use the hanging mode. Hanging? Oh yeah, this. 
Face any waist-high railing and push the action button to clear the railing and hang over the side. Once there, you can move sideways so it's teaching while me about keeping this out again. of enemy sight. All right, I'm giving it a try. Don't forget the grip gauge. It will keep decreasing during a hanging maneuver, and once it runs out, you will fall. Grip level one, so I can get better. Okay, this is a pretty generous grip gauge. Cool, noted. Down both shoulder buttons while hanging. You can do pull ups, and if you do 100, it gives you an extended grip gauge. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I don't have a map in here. Just do 100 more, get you a third grip gauge. Oh, shit. Something went down in here. So this game is presented in widescreen, naturally. Oh, hello. Um, but it's a PS2 game. I don't think they were doing widescreen on PS2 in general that early. Who's this guy? Oh, no, no. Beheaded him. Hey, Alana. Oh my god, the blood keeps spurting. Holy shit. On Alpha, come in. What's going on? Alpha, respond. Yeah, you missed some shit, Alana. Oh, do I get a gun now? But not a Trank gun. <gasps> What's that noise? Is he drinking the blood? Is he a fucking vampire? His name is Vamp. Get down. Oh, 
Oh, now I'm gonna get blamed for this massacre. Philmar, I recognize the name, but I don't remember who else he's voiced. Where is he? Static on Static Shark. That's where I've heard of him. That's a pretty salient point, Rando SEAL team member. Yeah, Queen. Are you all done cleaning up? Yes, but wait till I tell you what I found. Something interesting? Oh, thanks for shooting me the other clips. Where are you? In the central That guy's got a real presence of mind. Holy right shit. There. That guy's the MVP. an enemy calm down wait is that david hater my name is my name is pliskin <laughs> snake pliskin lieutenant junior gray <laughs> you're quite pliskin <laughs> are you a navy seal how did you get in Fast rope descent from a Navy chopper. What's with the bug? Have I seen you before? That suit. Are you Foxhound? That's right. Foxhound was disbanded. Huh? Where were you before Foxhound? Delta Force? Certainly not anybody I was we part would of know. The Army's Force 21 trials. Force 21? That's about tactical IT deployment, right? Any field experience? No, not really. So this is your first. I've had extensive training, the kind that's indistinguishable from the real thing. Like what? Sneaking mission 60, weapons 80, advanced VR, huh? But realistic in every way. This is footage of VR from of the aids. original. That's great. That's far more effective than live exercises. You don't get injured in VR, do you? Every year a few soldiers die in field exercises. There's pain sensation in VR and even a sense of reality and urgency. The only difference is it isn't actually happening. That's the way they want you to think, to remove you from the fear that goes with battle situations. War is a video game. What better way to raise the ultimate soldier? So you're saying that VR training is some kind of mind control? Right. what's going on? The Alpha team from Navy SEAL 10 is dead. No, a single survivor. The kid's wired with nanomachines. What about the president? Looks like they took him somewhere else. I see. You said there was a survivor from SEAL Team 10. Yeah. Lieutenant J.G. Pliskin. Has he seen your face? What? This is a top secret mission. No one can know that we're involved. It's a little too late for that. He did take off his mask like an hour What's ago. That? Take a look. What the hell? A Navy captain. Uh. Oh. You all right? 
Give me a few minutes. Must have lost a few more pints than I thought. Hey there, Pliskin. What was that man just now? Yeah, I want to know that, that too. That sucking freak. That was Vamp. He's Romanian, a wizard with knives, as you saw. The way he moved didn't seem human. You won't see that in VR, I guarantee. What is he? One of the members of Dead Cell. Dead Cell? Him? A special forces unit created by ex-president George Sears. The name was originally intended to reflect its anti-terrorist functions. The unit would launch unannounced assaults on government complexes for the ultimate terrorism simulation. They were needed to show VR troopers like you how to deal with the real thing. And now they're working for the, the time enemy. their original leader died in prison, the unit began to unravel. That man Fortune Vamp they were always close to George the edge, Sears. But they became more and more extreme, began to go after U.S. allies, even civilians. We estimate that no fewer than 100 people died as a result of accidents the dead cell arranged on their own. They were out of control, and it all came to a head six months ago. What happened? The unit was devastated. There are only three left now, and you just saw one of them. Why would they go after the big shell? How should I know? I told you they were on the lunatic fringe. What about their leader? He says he's Solid Snake. Snake died two years ago. That cell was based on a real life You mean the incident that, that made this minute. big shell necessary in the first place? Right, and he was the one that sank that tanker. But he's a legend. Legends are usually bad news. There's not a lot of difference between heroes and madmen. You're saying Snake is still alive and pulled another one? No, he's not involved in this one. His body was positively ID'd two years ago. Yeah, sure it Snake was. Snake is dead. Unless this is and Solidus. What about the other soldiers? I saw Russian equipment too. Former Soviet military. They're probably mercenaries. The big shell is too much ground for just dead cell members to hold down. You weren't briefed on any of this? And you came in alone to boot? Why? What are you really doing here? I mean, as far as he knows... Can't tell me, huh? Saving the president. Me. I don't smoke. Keep it anyway. May come in handy. Take this, too. Oh, now I get a gun. Cool. Is this the Trank gun or a M9? Come in. Alpha Zero. This is Bravo Zero. Currently at the bridge between struts B and C. The president is... Damn, I can't hit this thing. It's like some bad dream. Alpha, anyone, come in. All Alpha. This is Bravo Zero. Aren't you going to answer him? Well... Why would you keep your radio on your back like that? The BC connecting bridge. We need to get there. Can you handle it? I need a few more minutes. Remember my frequency. It's 141.80. 141.80. Got it. I've been briefed on this plant's layout. If you need information on the place or about dead cell, contact me. You're using nano communication, right? Yeah, but I can patch into your frequency. Might have missed the M9. Boiler room in strut A. Hey, Ooh. what's your name? Raiden. Raiden? Strange code name. Makes up for the boring one my parents gave me. Maybe I'll find out someday. Should I go back for it? Alright. Oh wait, is the M9 the Trank gun? Jack, it's me. Everything oh, the okay, M9 Rose? is a bullet gun. Don't you okay. need to save the mission data? Oh yeah, thanks for the reminder. Uh, okay, prompting me to save. All right.
Jack, do you remember what day tomorrow is? That again. I'm sorry, but I still don't have a clue. That's okay. What is it, Rose? Talk to me. I'd rather you figure it out. It's important. How important? Important enough? And we'll talk about it tomorrow. Why not now? Tomorrow seems more appropriate. I need all the help I can get so that I won't chicken out anyway. Is that the reason you decided to be part of this mission? <sighs> okay. I'm gonna finish this thing by tomorrow no matter what. You know I'll do everything I can I mean, can you've kind of got you. a time limit here, Rose, Ryden. There's something I need you to do as an analyst. What is it? It has to do with Solid Snake. The leader of this takeover incident is claiming that he's Snake himself. The legendary mercenary? Hmm. I need as much data on him as possible. Everything they have on him after the Shadow Moses incident. He's dead now, isn't he? Yes. Should be a burial record somewhere, too. You should be able to request top-level security clearance from the Colonel. That should get us into the most classified material. I'm on it. I'll contact you as soon as I find out something. Oh, uh, shit. Which way do I go? Did Snake go to sleep? One of the few Metal Gear games that takes place on a specific date. Calling him or pointing your gun at him? Uh, one for one point eight zero, right? He's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that does add him. Pliskin. I, d I recognize the name Pliskin. It's from uh, Escape from L.A. or Escape from New York or something. Snake Pliskin is Kurt Russell's character's name. Uh-oh. Escape from New York. What are you shooting at? Oh, this guy? Man, this guy's inaccurate. Is that the dead president? Who's this? Put me out of my misery. This is impossible. Nothing will hit her. Is she the one they call Fortune? So she's bending bullets. to beat her. Melee? Don't let them take the president! That is the president. Ready grenades! She makes A grenades dud. does? That's going to go off the second she steps away from it, isn't it? Today is another bad day. Is there anyone oh, shit, here that's that a real gun. Happiness? 
Holy shit. So much for, uh, so much for that path. Can't go that way. I'm so sorry, my beauties. I'll see you again someday. They're seagulls. Calm down. Oh yeah, they were totally shooting in the direction of the president. Colonel, SEAL Team 10's Bravo team was wiped out. I see. What happened to the cargo choppers? Both of them are at the bottom of the harbor. Looks like your new hosts have a Harrier, too. A Harrier? What is this? Calm down. It just means they anticipated the attack. What? Besides, since the SEALs drew their fire, your infiltration went off without a hitch. On top of that, we know their defensive capabilities. Are you saying this was all a feint? Raiden, get a hold of yourself. The entire mission is in your hands now. Do you understand? They were a dis you sent them in no as a distraction to die? They could decide to retaliate the for a failed assault. You mean the hostages? They could be in danger, yes. But we need to consider the possibility that they'll blow the whole shell. If that toxic spell does take place, it'll devastate not only the harbor, but poison the coastline for generations. <sighs> Raiden, we've had to adjust the mission objectives. The priority is now on removing those C4s that the terrorists wired over the big shell. The president can wait, but this can't. Colonel, you know I'm no bomb disposal expert. That's not a problem. The Bravo team brought an explosives pro in with them. He was supposed to stand by on Strut C according to their mission plan. You should find him there. Is this according to simulation too? What are you talking about? Get to Strut C and find him. Understood. But I need to ask you something before I go. Make it quick. Who are they? Dead Cell, I mean. They couldn't hit her no matter how hard they tried. And that vampire, too. It's... it's like... It's like being in a nightmare you can't wake up from. Jack, yeah, snap well, out of it. Snake and had you, to Rose, face I can't believe some you're weird on this shit, mission. too. I keep thinking I'll wake up. Raiden, this is real. And that's why you won't wake up. But nothing seems real. I've made up my mind to stay with you. Whether this is real or a bad dream, I'll keep watching you till it's over. This Thank is a you, weird Rose. conversation. And I won't let you be just a dream. Are you two done? Raiden, you're needed on Strut C. <laughs> Now's my chance to get the M9. Uh, I guess I'll go get it. Said I should aim my gun at him? I wouldn't do that if I were you. <laughs> nice. And he went back to sleep. Uh, okay. Where the hell is the door to get back to where I was going? It's funnier in first person. Get M9 first. Yeah, he's pretty good looking. Hmm. All right. 
right, so we wait for him to turn back around. Both shoulder buttons will do a pull-up. There. That took a lot of my grip gauge. Hmm. Alright, so the boiler room. Hmm? There's somebody there. Here? Nope, can't enter that. Stairs up. Is this the way? No, this is Shred A Roof. Ah, hey, chaff grenade! It's on the back wall. Found it, it's just locked. Okay. No worries. It was worth taking a look. Alright, here's an actual question. Will there come a point later in the game where I need a level 2 or level 3 grip gauge? Should I take the time to do pull-ups? Or is that just for convenience's sake? Never needed, okay. There's an item here. Another chaff grenade. How many can I hold? I can hold 20. Cool. Strutzy Dining Hall. Uh-oh, no map. Can't go in that. Is a bathroom? This is a bathroom. So called bullets. Nothing. You don't level up your carrying capacity, it's determined by difficulty. Ladies' room? Or was that the ladies' room? Pentaz Pentazamin. Stops trembling of hand when sniping. I see. Get in line first.
Freeze! Don't Hello. shoot. A cop? You a cop? I'm not NYPD. I came in with the Bravo team. Why Who are you in a cop outfit then? And what happened then? to SEAL Team 10? They're all dead. All of them? Oh, that's bad. After this cutscene, go to the next truck right away and you'll get Did a funny Easter egg. Did I tell you you could move? Okay. Right. He's not one of the bad guys. Don't go pointing that thing everywhere, kid. What's your name? My name is Peter. Peter Stillman. I'm lecturer at Nav Scolio at Indian Head. Also a consultant for the NYPD bomb squad. A poor old man who got dragged along for this picnic. I thought you'd retired. Oh, well, that is the guy who voiced Gray Fox I did. and Can't Dark keep Octopus. up with anybody, as you can see. A famous church got wiped off the map thanks to me. With too many lives inside. All I lost was this leg. So you're the bomb disposal guy. Kid, this is the bomb disposal guy. Open any explosives disposal textbook and you'll see his name. <laughs> Just ancient history now. Why did they bring you out of retirement then? Because the terrorist group here includes one of my students. Oh, lovely. The Emperor of Explosives. Fat <laughs> He built an atomic bomb when he was only Oh, 10. how did he do that? I created him in a sense. And that's why you're here. I'm pretty rusty. I was supposed to supervise the bomb disposal. Looks like it was taken care of before I had my turn. I wouldn't say that. There are at least two people here who can claim to be experts at bomb disposal. Are you two with SEAL Team 10? I didn't see you at the mission briefing. Oh, we're with another squad. My name is Pliskin, Lieutenant Junior Grade. Honored to meet you, sir. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any experience with explosives disposal? Don't worry about me. And he looks young, but he can do it. But we need more manpower. I'm, uh... What's your name? Raiden. That's an odd name. Any other survivors? There was also an engineer with me. An engineer? Yeah, I figured it was a reference to the uh, one of the atomic bombs. A skinny guy. He Dropped ran with in World us. War II. Where is he? I haven't seen him since that skirmish. Was he killed? I don't think oh, so. Oh, skinny guy? Otacon? They told me he was a security systems architect for the big shell. Why would they take a civilian along? Everything in this structure is computer controlled. He was supposed to get us past all the security measures. I never heard anything about that. He had official orders with him. Hmm. We'll leave that for later. Right now, we need to figure out how to deal with all the bombs. But there's no one left from the SEAL's EOD squad. Yep, so we have to do it ourselves. But I've never defused a bomb before. Hold on a sec. Off to confer with the CO again. Glad to hear Stillman is safe. Assist him in any way possible to clear the C4 from the structure. Do I get to keep Colonel, the C4? You know I've never been trained in bomb disposal. It's all right. The man you're working with is the best in the field. All you have to do is follow his direction. There's going to be a mini game. You will, game. of course, uh. keep your identity and mission objectives to yourself. Is it true that an engineer came in with Stillman? I wasn't informed of that. It's probably something the SEALs decided on their own. Hmm. There are more important issues at hand, Raiden. The enemy may retaliate for the failed assault. Get those C4s neutralized now. Colonel... I'm not qualified for bomb disposal. Jack, it's me. Rose? You can do this. Trust me. You have your had faith bomb is entirely unfounded, Rose. Per se in VR, but you're more than capable of handling C4. This is a little different from using C4. You're up for this. You know that. How about it, kid? Are the results in yet? There's no need to think about this so much. You won't actually be dismantling the bomb. That's not for amateurs. What we'll try here instead is a temporary freezing measure. Here, look at this. This is going to be a mini game, isn't it? This is a C4 bomb. Did you just arm it? It's live. You can see it pulsing. 
Why would you I arm it? This on the sucker head. There we go. Simple, huh? The spray freezes the detonator instantly. How long does the effect last? There's no way the thing can detonate in this condition. Even if you leave it alone, it'll stay out of commission for at least 24 hours. That's I'll bet if you leave the game if on for 24 man, hours, the bombs rearm. Disposal, but this will have to do. The spray can be used from several yards away. Now check the floor, ceiling, walls, under a table, everywhere. Try to imagine the locations the bomber would choose. That won't be easy. We don't know a thing about Fat Man. Is there anything that'll help us locate the bombs? Here, take this with you. It's what they call an ion mobility spectrometer. It can recognize ionized gas emitted by C4s. The what? In other words, that little gadget sniffs out C4's scent. That's right. I've established a link-up with your radar network, so any scent detected will be represented visually. Have the sensor activated How'd you do that? keep your eye on the radar. What if he's using some other odorless substance? I know Fat Man well. I know how into his own aesthetics he is. Signatures? Yes. On every bomb he builds, he always leaves a trace of the cologne he uses. The sensor also That's a weird habit. The scent spectrum. Is that something he learned from you? No, it was his own quirk. He wouldn't work by any rules. Built an except atomic his own. bomb at ten and years he old. Him like a religion, and common sense wasn't one of his strong points. I thought I taught him everything I knew. I have no children of my own, and I thought I found a son in him. He had the right stuff, you know. There's something very unusual about an ability like that. Even at Indian Head, he got special treatment. I remember some people called him one of the fat cats. <laughs> Maybe that's what started all this. I didn't teach him the most important thing I had to tell him. There are some things you have to pass on. The trick is to know which one. Right. All I taught him was skills. And now I have to stop him from using it to destroy us all. Let's see how well that sensor works. All right. I'm activating them. Watch. You see the green stuff on the radar? That's a visual representation of the C4 scent detected by the sensor. It's a pretty big area, isn't it? Don't complain. It's better than nothing. Just activate the sensors and search the area, okay? All right. Don't forget that you need the radar to use this system. Log into the node at every strut and turn the radar on. We have to keep out That's of the a priority side already, too, yep. Because the radar gets knocked offline when we're spotted? Exactly. Fat Man would have allotted some C4s here in Strut C as well. Here? I know the structure of this facility, and if he wants to take out the plant, where he would target. You know this for sure? Of course. I taught him the techniques he uses. His ideas are based on my theories. Demolition is a kind of ideology. It makes no exceptions for time or place. Big Shell consists of two hexagons joined in on in, north to south. There should be packets of C4s on each of the vertices, or the struts in this case. You need at least that to take a building of this integrity out. Hmm. Six on Shell 1, another six on Shell 2. A total of 12 bombs at least. Considering I'm going to have to sit there and spray for from an several seconds. That's my conclusion, and it's exactly what he would have decided as well. Kid, this place is all yours. I'll take care of Shell 2. Oh, okay. Take this. Key card. Security card issued to shell personnel. The big shell security layout includes varying levels of clearance. The clearance level is identified by the number printed on these doors. Writing, your card key can open doors with security clearance level one. Pliskin, your card can get you into level three areas. You need it to get next door to shell two. How did you, you get don't this? have to equip that the key card to use it this time. Thank to. God. You were supposed to program a set of all access cards once we were on site. Unfortunately, this card won't get you into every area of this structure. 
We'll have to deal with the remaining security lockouts as they come up. Let's get going. You stay here. No, I'm going. The two of us can handle it, don't worry. But... You'll just slow us down with that leg of yours. There's a war going on here. I don't have time to babysit anymore. Why don't you just let us handle the grunt work? You can tell us what to do over the radio, like in the original mission plan. All right. I'll give you instructions from here. I may also need to prepare a backup plan, just in case. In case of what? Metal Gear 1 and 2, you got separate cards per level this and no numbers on the doors. Who dares, wins. Including a gas-filled room? If anything Stand. comes up, let me know. My frequency is 140.25. Good luck, kid. I'll see you later. All right, well, let's... Semper Fi. 140.25. That man's no seal. I don't even think he's a Navy man. What? Simplify. Marine Corps talk. Yeah, no shit, Raiden. You should know that already. 140.25. Normally, team leaders stay in the CP and give orders with those headphones. And as far as I know, SEALs keep their officers away from the field. And who dares wins is a model of the British Special Air Service. Is he one of the terrorists, then? No, somehow I don't think so. If there's someone to suspect, I'd put my money on you. That's a brave thing to say to his face. I'm... Just take care of those bombs for now. What about you? They could be back in this area soon. I'll hide out in this pantry for a while. If I lock the door, it should be all right. Plenty of food in here, too, so you don't need to worry about me. I'll give you instructions by codec from here. Good luck, kid. Bomb disposal is a face-off with your own mortality. Don't let the fear get to you. When you give in to the fear, the darkness comes. All right, one for zero point two five. Whoops. Stillman is safe as long as he's in there. You worry about defusing those C4s instead. Uh, okay, I do need to manually do it. Never mind about me. Get on with disposing of those bombs. Okay, now he's marked. Uh. Let's save. What's up, Jack? All right, so on to the strike. Oh, hang on. When you get home, let's have a homecoming party, just the two of us. Yeah. That's a good idea. Hmm. I'll make dinner. Uh, uh, oh, what's wrong? Well, that sounds good, but how about we eat out at that one restaurant instead? You know, the place that we went to recently with the amazing lobster? I really like that place. Well, yeah, she I She wanted I guess to cook for okay you, Raiden. Huh? Uh, nothing. I, I just love lobster. <laughs> yeah, can't wait. Woohoo! Uh, well, then I'll make a reservation. Promise me you'll come back safely. Don't worry. All right, so a big loss if you miss out on the Easter egg. I'll just link you to the YouTube video of it if you miss it. All right, on to the strut. Where's the... Is the map in here? Aha, map. Uh, 
is this the way out to the strut? I'm guessing this is the wrong place. Wrong way, that was the way you came from. Also missed the bomb on your radar, yeah. Oh shit. Well, I'm guessing I've missed, uh, missed the Easter egg. Open it. Okay. Yep, you better leave. First person to use spray with square button. Okay, bomb is aha. Right in here. I took care of the C4 in Strut C. The ceiling of the women's bathroom was set to blow. That's not like him. Anything wrong? Maybe. Pliskins reported other locations too, and none of them are effective demolition points. That's weird. What do you mean? It means that they wouldn't be the best places to choose if you wanted to destroy this place. Are you saying they don't plan on blowing the shell up? It certainly seems that way. So far we haven't seen anything but a waste of good explosives. Unless, of course, we're missing something. A trap? He couldn't have overlooked the fact that I would be called into this. There's something going on. Alright, so that's one of, like, six? Alright, let's see his pattern. Is he coming back in here? No, he's not. All right. So he's going into the men's room. Hmm? Oh, he can see me past that. God damn it. It's the enemy. I need out. Okay. Fuck. All right. Just end me. End me and we'll load. What is that hand movement Raiden's doing? Is he trying to hypnotize them? No, this isn't happening. Jack, you have to answer me. Jack! Jack! All right. Hide in here. I wonder if I get a message for hiding in the bath bathroom stall. Ryden, Stillman is a top-notch explosives technician. 
follow his orders and disarm the explosives. Okay. There's a quitter but exactly in this game. You get spotted and just slide Stillman. down and die. Well, gotcha. what am I supposed to I'll do? Look him up. Hold Infinite on enemies. Um. That track you and follow you. Was I supposed to run back into the bathroom and hide in a stall? He could see me run in there. Raiden, where are you? I, um... Oh, here's a, quite, you here's a conversation about the women's bathroom. Anything goes. Fliskin, I've snuck into similar places in the past myself. Huh? Can break line of sight and hide. Run into the next area and stand of sight long enough for them to go into caution mode, then hide. Jack, do you need to save? Um, I think that this is actually a good place to stop, because we were going to go for about two and a half hours. Um... Uh, and today and two and a half hours next week. Uh, so we'll do. Jack, it must be so nerve uh, We'll do three hours next bomb. week, just to. Yeah, I'd say so. Uh, okay, make up for going a little. Sorry. A little That's short today. Right. It's just that I've never been trained in this stuff. You okay? Are you feeling well? I almost threw up a few times. Oh, Jack. But I'm okay. It's not. The like Colonel I'm can hear alone. you. Uh, you know. Oh, yeah, that's true. What do you think about when you're diffusing those things? I don't think so much as remember, and I know that I need to resist that and keep my mind blank. I can't let myself be overwhelmed by the fear. So, am I a part of what you try not to remember? <laughs> I was just kidding, but I guess this isn't a good time for that. No, it is, and I do think about you. I'm trying to remember what's so special about April 30th. You're link me to the Easter egg scene? Success? Cool. No, not yet. You need to stay alive so you can. Okay, that's a deal. All right, we've saved. Um, all right, well, that's going to be it for today. Tomorrow is going to be more Pokemon Scarlet. One second, let me pull up my schedule. Uh, tomorrow is going to be more Pokemon Scarlet. Thursday is Thanksgiving. Friday will be more Pokemon Scarlet. Saturday, Final Fantasy XIV. Um, and then we've got a few days of non-Pokemon Scarlet. Uh, Disco Elysium on Sunday. Ghost Trick on Monday. Although that's going to be a short stream, so we'll probably do Scarlet after. Um... And uh, we'll do the rest of this month's Metal Gear Solid 2 on next Tuesday. Um, yeah, I gotta make sure I have a, a DS emulator that actually runs that um, file you gave me for Ghost Trick. So I, I guess I'll get on that in the next couple days. Um, but yeah, that'll be it for today. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thanks for hanging out, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time.